hello and welcome to my channel i'm nathaniel bk sasa jr and uh i want us to discuss a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages of standing seam corrugated roofing and uh the different type of roofing system that you can have on your roof but for now we're discussing standing seam metal roofing versus corrugated screw down metal roofing so if you don't know what that means you can just hang along and let's watch this video together and i can uh give my take all metal roofing is not created equal in this video we're going to look at five major differences between standing seam metal roofing and corrugated or screw down metal roofing so that you can make a good decision on what's the right product for your upcoming project all right the first difference that we're going to talk about between standing seam metal and regular corrugated metal is the fasteners so in a corrugated metal you're going to have an exposed fastener and in a standing seam metal roofing system you're going to have a hidden fastener so let's start with the corrugated metal first this is probably the type of metal that most people are familiar with you're going to take a screw and you're just going to basically shoot it right through the face of the metal and it's going to hold the metal to the building via this screw well in liberia most of the time we don't use screw we use nail instead but it still apply the uh rusting principle and how it starts to rust and the <laughs> you're gonna see what i'm talking about and you're gonna see these screws hence the exposed fastener now a standing seam is a lot different in that you can't see the fasteners on a standing seam because the screws aren't through the face of the metal on a standing seam panel the screws are going to go into a clip so we've got a pancake uh, sorry for pausing too much another thing is liberia is a coastal country so what would be preferred is hidden fastener meaning the fastener will hold the roof will hold the sheets down on the trusses the nail the screws they are not exposed to the elements so air sort in the air will not the rusting process will not be as a like exposed fastener there is a science behind it and that's why it was engineered this way double locking mechanical seam versus screw down or piercing straight through the metal and you can watch to the end of the video and see the uh, the advantages and disadvantages kick head through here and you're going to put the clip on the side of the standing seam and then you're going to run the screw into the clip like this so the the standing seam you can't see the screws well why is that an important feature well it's an important feature because the only thing that stops water from getting into your structure with a corrugated metal is this little rubber washer and in the midwest in the area that we're at southern indiana northern kentucky we find that these washers they're just a little neoprene washer they go bad somewhere between near 9 and 12 and you're going to end up with leaks in your building around these screws so it is a big deal when you have a metal that would last longer than nine years but your washers are failing so you get developed leaks with the standing seam roof you just don't have that because there's no exposed fasteners the fasteners are all underneath of the next panel and they're they're screwed into this clip so exposed fastener versus and another thing about standing seam there is i think three types of standing seam they have snap on single lock double lock mechanical so liberia i see most people in liberia and ghana using the snap on which is not as effective as their double locking system because snap on water can still penetrate behind the seam to go in the roof so you should do your own research before you install your roofing system or your house because what we learn here is like 20 percent of your entire budget you're using to build your house should be allocated for your roofing because you know the roof protect everything that is beneath the house so you should think about it too is hidden faster that is the difference number one and it's a major difference all right the second major difference between standing seam metal and the corrugated metal is that 
The standing seam design allows the metal to expand and contract. All metal is going to expand and contract, but the standing all metal expand and contracts. Meaning, when the sun get very hot, your sheet metal can get big. It can then it can stretch. Then when you ring, 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 it get cold. It can shrink. It can get small. So in the process of getting big and getting small, getting big as day goes by and years goes back, that's where where you pierce, where you put the hole in the zinc or in your steel. That process of expansion and contraction, that holes keep getting big and big and big, and the rust keep expanding and before you go look less than two three years your roof start to leak in liberia and they told you that the metal you're using is 50 year guarantee 30 years guarantee but the application process to apply there's a method you use to apply in installing a roof and most people just go take hammer and nail and just start banging through and all of these things is like destroying your roof seam design with the clips having being screwed down to the structure and not the metal panel allows the standing seam to expand and contract every day as the sun pops out and goes back down so you can see here the clip is attached to the structure but the metal is never pinned down itself so the, in the standing seam system the, the panel can, can expand as the day heats up and it can contract and it never is going to be pinned into one place Quite like the corrugated metal the corrugated metal is screwed right through the face and it's pinned so but why does that matter well over time the metal is going to heat up and it has nowhere to go so it's going to push on the screws or nails and over time it'll actually push those screws and nails out now even on a steel building we, we've gone back to steel buildings uh, several years later and the uh, cinch straps on the seams of the panels even in steel will have like twisted themselves out and back the screws out from the pressure of the expansion every day pushing on the screw or the fastener and then coming back down the next day, pushing on it again. So um, having the metal be able to float through the expansion contraction cycle is, is, an, is a good thing. So all metal roofing moves with expansion and contraction because of the daytime heating and cooling. So if the sun comes out, a metal roofing is going to expand and the sun goes back in, a cloud moves over the sun, the, the metal is gonna contract. It's just what metal does and it's just a part of the nature of metal. So. One of the big differences between standing seam and the corrugated metal is that the standing seam allows the movement of the metal to happen because the screws are not into the metal, it's into the clip. So we're back to the clip idea. So when this metal expands and contracts, it can slide up and down the clips and it can move without breaking watertight seams that are or seals that are up around the transitions, the trims, uh, the, the ridge valleys it, it can move without becoming uh, a, a leak spot now uh, corrugated metal is fixed it's pinned down with screws and remember that little that little rubber washer that we showed you if you get a lot of movement in this metal you're going to break that seal this metal to stay dry relies on that seal on that screw and there's a whole bunch of screws in this metal so movement for this metal is bad and over time we've even seen since this metal cannot, it, it just it just can't. The expansion contraction has nowhere to go. Over time, the pushing of the metal will actually will actually back nails and screws back them out and cause. So that's why most carpenters and roofers in Liberia don't understand this process about contraction and expansion. They will be like, I knew everything properly, but I don't know why it still leaks because as time goes by, this those nail push out of the wood when contraction and uh, expansion is taking place the screws push back out the washer everything so that's why you have water creeping back in your roof that's some of the reason why you have your roof leaking before two three years so to do it right is in liberia i would prefer the double locking mechanical sin because there will no there will be no chances of water going through a double locking seam what we have experimented for many years and there is roof that i have worked on there's roof that I have went to be renovated uh, i have renovated uh, that were renovated by us by the company i work for and some of those roof were like 100 
150 years old before the first renovation or before the second renovation so you must understand that it was properly done to be renovated after 50 or 100 years like there so a, a, a big difference between standing seam and corrugated metal is the movement the design of standing seam allows it to move without breaking watertight seals in the system whereas corrugated metal needs to stay put but metal doesn't stay put it moves around with thermal expansion and contraction so it's another factor that's a reason why the screws fail and that trims fail valleys fail over time on the corrugated and they don't fail on the standing seam. so don't take it from me you can also take it from this guy on youtube for me i went to school here i work here more than since let's say 2015 up to present you can do the math i've been doing this that's what i do for a living and uh we feel obligated some of us to share the knowledge but this is a big big industry that one person cannot untake because you have distribution you have uh, manufacturing you have montage so all of those three places we can have people coming together and having a big metal working shop that we can teach people so this is just my one two cents towards sheet metal roofing it's not just for roofing you can build a whole house you can do interior designs you can dress your facade meaning outside your house the wall outside you can decide what kind of design you want all from sheet metal jelly hair the tailor can sew you clothes that's how the sheet metal worker can sew a clothes for a house to fit exactly by the millimeter on the house so thank you for watching and uh keep tuned tuning in for more of this kind of content thank you for watching